this tiny PC. I turn it into the ultimate all-in-one box. It's running Batocera, which means I can play retro games all the way up to Nintendo Switch. Stream and watch movies with Cody. And yes, even grab new titles right from the system itself. All packed inside this little machine. So let me show you how it works. The best part, you don't need a powerful gaming rig. A small PC like this Lenovo M910 Tiny is more than enough. You'll also need a USB stick or SSD to install Batocera, a SATA to USB adapter, a controller for gaming and a keyboard and mouse for setup. That's literally it. So let's go through the process. Quick specs checks here. This is a Lenovo M910 Q Tiny paired with an Intel Core i5-7500T. 16 gigs of RAM and for storage, I used a 250 gig SATA SSD. Now, this will not be a full step-by-step -step tutorial, but do let me know down in the comment section if you would like me to do one. I'll be happy to do so. Don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing. More stuff like this are on the way. First, grab the Batocera image from their official website. Just head to their site and choose the version for your hardware. Next, open Balena Etcher, select the Batocera image and flash it to your USB stick or SSD. Once it's done, plug it into your PC and boot from the USB or the SSD. Now I can't show BIOS files or encryption keys for legal reasons, but once you've got Batocera running, the rest is simple. When you boot in for the first time, you'll see a clean interface. From here, I like to set up my controller first. Batocera will detect most gamepads right away. You can also configure your system settings, adjust video output and set your storage device. Well, of course, I went ahead and did all of that, as you can see. And that's it. You're inside Batocera, ready to game and explore. But Batocera isn't just for games, it also comes with Kodi build right in. This is where it becomes a true media box. Inside Kodi, you can add your favorite media sources, watch movies, stream shows, or even connect to a Jellyfin or Plex server. So with one click, this tiny PC becomes a full home theater system. No extra setup required. This is a specific theme I choose from Kodi. You can easily scroll down through your movies, TV shows. And you can also add extra applications. This is quite easy to set up. You just need a bit of tinkering. One of the coolest features Batocera includes nowadays is the built-in desktop mode. With it, you can use your PC just like a regular computer. Open your favorite browser, watch YouTube, or do anything else you normally do. So let me quickly show you how to get this. With the keyboard and mouse plugged in, simply press F1 to bring up the file manager. From there, head into Applications and select each term. Now just type in this command. That's going to install the Batocera unofficial add-ons. Once the installation finishes, go into System Utilities and select Desktop. This will enable Batocera desktop mode, turning into a full PC environment. From here, you can open a browser, use YouTube, or pretty much anything else you'll expect on a regular computer. And here's something special. Batocera has community plugins, and one of them is RGSX, the retro game store. 
Now I can't show everything for obvious reasons, but as you can see it lets you browse and install directly from the interface. It's completely optional, but it's adding another layer of convenience if you add everything in one place. Of course, the main reason to use Batocera is the games. PlayStation Portable titles run buttery smooth. PlayStation 2 games like The Simpsons Hit and Run, one of the old times favorites, run super smooth. I left everything as default. Nintendo GameCube and Wii, no problem at all. Here we have Mario Kart. EDS titles like Kirby. And even Switch titles, yeah, you're seeing it here, run on this small PC with really solid performance. Performance will vary depending on your hardware, but even on a budget Lenovo Tiny, it's impressive how far you can push it. So in just one box, I've got a retro console, a Switch emulator, a media hub and even a built-in retro game store. That's what makes Bat of Sera so exciting. It's open source and it can transform just about any old PC into entertainment powerhouse. If you want to see me build even crazier DIY console and media setup, make sure you hit that subscribe, drop a like if you found this useful and let me know in the comments what system you like to see me cover next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.